Hello my wonderful boys and girls and welcome back to a new unit of our UOI classes. Today we are going to start with unit 3 which is a new theme that I already talked to you about it at the beginning if, uh, of this year if you can recall. Today we are going to talk about unit 3 which is sharing the planet. This theme or this unit includes a lot of interesting things that we are going to learn about plants. Mm -hmm. So, sharing the planet. This is our theme for this unit. Inqu it's an inquiry into rights and responsibilities in the struggle to share finite resources with other people and other living things around us. We need to think of communities and the relationship within and between them. Access to equal opportunities, peace and conflict resolutions. So. In this theme, we are going to talk about, about planet Earth. How do we share all the resources in our planet? And as you can see in this picture, there are a lot of living things on this planet. People or human beings, animals and plants. All of them need to live equally on this planet and share it all together and having the resources distributed evenly for all of them so that they all can survive on our planet. I know that you are balanced and open-minded learners and you are going to understand what I am talking to you about. Our central idea for this unit is that plants sustain life on earth and play a role in, in people's lives. So mainly we are going to discuss plants, how are they important for our planet and how can they sustain our life on planet Earth or keep us surviving on this planet. Let's connect this theme to the previous themes that we already studied about. How we organize ourselves. It's an uh, inquiry into, in the interconnectedness of human-made systems and communities. The structure and function of organizations, societal decision-making, economic activities, and their impact on humankind and the environment. So, as I said, this theme is, or is already related to the environment around us, how we organize ourselves in our planet Earth. So, our theme is already connected to this because we are also going to tackle or talk about our environment in it and how do plants help in uh, balancing the environment around us. In unit two, as you can recall, we studied about where we are in place and time. We talked about the relationship between uh, humankind and the interconnectedness of individuals and civilizations. We, always, we already also talked about houses and how do we build houses. And as you recall, we said that the materials that we use for building some houses are Wood, bravo! If you can recall the stilt house, the hut, the uh, ch the chalet, or the tree house, what do we use to build them? Trees, logs, wood. Right, excellent. Where do we get them from? From plants, bravo! So, is it connected? Of course it is connected. Important questions that we are going to answer throughout this unit. We are going to, fi to find out and extend your knowledge by learning more about the theme and unwrapping the highlighted words. Let's read the theme again and see the highlighted words here. It's an inquiry into the rights and responsibilities. Uh -huh. We're talking about plants. Do we have a responsibility towards plants? Yes, of course. We have to take care of plants. We have to stop cutting plants. We have to plant more because we're going to learn how they are important to our planet. We also have the word struggle highlighted because people on this planet or living things in general struggle to share finite resources with other people and with other living things. We all are living on this planet. We all need its resources. So we struggle to share them all together. Communities are our communities that we live in, which is something that we learned about in the first unit. Excellent. We live in our communities. We have a lot of needs. We have a lot of resources that we need to keep finding so we can use them in the best way we can and we can share them with other organisms or living things that live on our planet.
The relationships within and between them, access to equal opportunities. We all have to have equal access to resources. We have to have equal access to, to uh, plants, to water, to everything that we need to complete our daily routine and activities that we do and keep surviving on this planet. So these are the highlighted words that we, we are going to uh, learn about in this theme. An example of questions that we need to ask ourselves before we start with this unit are, what are the resources that we share? What is our responsibility towards Earth? At the beginning of our chapter or our unit, you are going to draw a mind map about plants. We are going to read the central idea that I already read for you and create a mind map to unwrap the challenging words like sustain and rule and provide synonyms for the words. So you guys are going to be asked to fill or to create your own mind map about plants like the one you can see. We just learned that plants has roots or a plant has roots. It has to find water. It needs its leaves to make its own food. The leaves are always green. Also, the plant needs some light, which is in yellow color. Flowers has seeds inside them so they can plant other plants again. So. It's a cycle that the plant follows to keep reproducing and making its own food. We're going to draw this map in the class and we are going to add a lot of information about plants that we already know or that we learned from our teachers. Now let's move to the ATL skills which are related to this theme. We are going to be inquirers because this is a science field and we are always inquirers. We always look for information, we ask questions, we show curiosity, we discover new things. We are also caring because we said that we are responsible towards our planet and our, towards plants that are living on it. We try to help others, we try to help even other living things. We care for ourselves and others. We care for the environment and the planet around us, right? We understand and show empathy for all the organisms around us, not only humans, of course. We also should have research skills in this chapter or in this unit. We are going to research we are going to make observations, ask questions, collect information and data. We have to find our present findings, show ICT literacy. We need to work in the IT labs to keep researching and looking for information. We are also going to recognize ethical use of media. When we always use any website, we have to thank the site that we took the information from and mention its name when we do our research, right? We already learned this. So mainly we are going to talk about thinking skills and research skills. We should have them throughout this unit so we can understand everything that is explained in it. We are going to use our research skills to read and find facts about plants and then answer the question, what are the five ways to take care of your planet? We can look for information in a book, in uh, the internet. We can ask someone how do we can take, how can we take, can, how can we take care of plants? We will also draw pictures or write sentences to show the ways to look to take care for plants and to gather data about them through many ways, as I said before, reading books, finding in a website, or asking an adult. So this is an introduction for our uh, theme, our unit three. We are going to have a very interesting one, and it's going to be a fun one. Thank you for listening.